Good morning, guys. I ate, we're all sparkly. Gym session done. I've run the dogs. I'm about to go and do some filming with one of my patients and also Dr. Williams. You're going to hear his patient's story. I cannot wait. But before you hear his story, he's going to be rolling with a legendary Jeff Lawson. So, yeah, I can't wait for poor old Sean to get strangled. No, I'm only joking. However, I have had a word with Jeff. <laughs> well, Jeff is a black belt, highly experienced in both jiu-jitsu and judo. So poor Sean, a blue belt, he's going to play with him. But I think one of the wonderful things about jiu-jitsu is it is all about humility. And we lack humility in this world because it's all about me. It's all about me. Well, right, let's talk about me. So I'm on testosterone replacement therapy. What is my dose of testosterone? Because everybody's fascinated. Well, actually, it's gone up a little bit. It's gone up to 14 milligrams of testosterone cypionate daily via subcutaneous injection and still 100 IU of HCG daily via subcutaneous injection and five milligrams of Tadalafil daily. This gets me stable male androgen levels. And that's what it's all about. My levels are carefully titrated according to effect. And I feel great. I feel great when I put the work in, when I look after my sleep, my stress, my nutrition, and my exercise, and my mindset. Mindset is key because we are physical beings in a world of psychological stress. So, you should also be on Test Sip, HCG, Tadalafil. Well, listen, this is gold standard. This is what we consider to be gold standard at the Men's Health Clinic. We have planted our flag, but there is no room for dogma in medicine. Now, why is it gold standard? Well, because obviously, testosterone replacement therapy, you need testosterone, but testosterone suppresses the release of LH and FSH down to the testicles. So I like the idea of TRT to be HRT and you release LH and FSH in the form of HCG because it mimics FSH and LH and also a bit of TSH and that's the sub alpha unit if I remember correctly. So yeah, we like it to be a complete picture, HRT not TRT and this suits probably 90% of our guys. So the internet is full of unhappy people. Most people on testosterone replacement therapy are cracking on with life. So you get a little bit of bias on the internet. So you might hear some negative stories about HCG. And it is a little bit tricky to dial in because what's it all about? Well, normalization. So how do you normalize LH and FSH with HCG when LH and FSH are releasing a pulsatile matter down to the testicles? Well, you don't give the maximum dose, the fertility dose. Now we have hundreds of people who have successfully conceived with the standard TRT dose, but it's not the optimal dose. And we're always working with the patient and giving you the best option for you. So HCG is constantly stimulating the testicles to produce intratesticular testosterone, which is great because we want to maximize natural physiology but it's not quite perfect because it's a constant stimulation of the LH receptor in the testicles to produce testosterone. And what else is also there? Well, the aromatase enzyme. So you do get a slight excess of estradiol. So what do you do? Well, you dial the dose down a little bit. And what are you doing with the exogenous testosterone? Well, you're optimizing the testosterone levels. So you can see it gets a little bit complicated, which is why you need to be under the care of somebody that knows what they're doing. Myself and Dr. Williams, this is all we do. We are both on testosterone and HCG. We have 5,000 plus patients. The vast majority of these patients are on testosterone and HCG. We have now been open for almost 10 years. Yes, 10 years. I would consider ourselves leading the field because I think we're leading the field. All we do is testosterone replacement therapy. We don't do hair restoration medications, GLP-1 agonists. We don't muddy the water. We concentrate on fixing the problem because it's all about 
fixing the problem to allow you to lead a life worth living. Now, testosterone deficiency is often the end result of a cascade of wrongdoings. And you can't undo everything with testosterone replacement therapy. So dialing you in with TRT is one part. The other part is for you to take personal responsibility and accountability for your actions and look at everything else. As we've said, ad nauseum, stress, sleep, nutrition, exercise, mindset. If you put the work in, you will reap the reward, earn the reward. So it's all about trusting the process. And that can be quite difficult when you're struggling. I do appreciate that. Now, there are some people that don't get on with testosterone and HCG, even when we dial you in. Because if we're looking at free testosterone, we're looking at a free testosterone of 0.5 to 0.85, an estradiol of probably 70 to 130, where most people feel good, it gets a little bit complicated. But that's where most people feel good. The slightly complicating issue is perhaps SHBG. Now we've spoken about SHBG before. Guys with low SHBG tend to feel better with lower free testosterone and lower estradiol because you don't feel the hormones quite so much because you lack that buffer effect. And guys with a normal to high normal SHBG tend to feel better between about 0.6 and 0.85. But it is not that simple. Again, reference ranges exist because it's a 95% confidence interval and 2.5% and 2.5% the other end they exist and they're normal. So it's a 95% confidence interval. So it does get a little bit complicated. So the slight complication with not only dialing in your free testosterone and estradiol is the HCG stimulating the brain. The brain. So there are LH receptors in the brain. So this sounds like a great thing, but what are you doing? You're dialing yourself up to 11, spinal tap reference. So is that a good thing or is that a bad thing? Well, it depends, doesn't it? Because if you're doing all the right things, you're putting race fuel into a race engine that has all eight cylinders firing, boom, you're going down the track. If you're putting race fuel into a race engine that's only got seven cylinders firing and hasn't been tuned in a while, that's not gonna fire quite as optimally as you want it to. So you need to be working on fixing the cylinder and giving it a tune up to then allow you to go down the road, which is essentially what we talk about. Again, fundamentally, it's about doing everything and you won't necessarily feel amazing straight away, but it is a work in progress. But there are some guys that actually just do not tolerate HCG. So we are not dogmatic at the Men's Health Clinic. So we take some people off of HCG because we know that they're going to feel better not on HCG. So, yeah, there is no room for dogma within medicine and there's certainly no room within TRT. We are constantly evolving our practice. So is it possible to feel good on testosterone monotherapy? Well, it's a subjective thing, not necessarily an objective thing. Now, objectively, what are we doing as doctors? Well, we're looking at all the other parameters. We're obviously asking you how you are, because again, it's about resolution of symptoms, but doing it safely. So making sure your blood pressure, your lipid profile, all of these things like your HCT are not rising. And again, it's not quite that simple because what else affects blood pressure? Lots of things. What else affects lipid profile? Lots of things. What are, lots of things. Do you get what I'm talking about? So you have to have this holistic approach. And it's very difficult to have a holistic approach when we're men and we're focused on goals and focused on solutions because I'm going to go there because that's where the, the destination is. It's not that simple. We have to have that holistic approach, which is why you need an objective opinion. So we're always going to act in your best interests. We're not looking to make the road harder. We're looking to make the road the correct road and support you on that road down to hormone optimization and to make you feel as good as you can feel with realistic expectations. Because if you wake up having had a bad night's sleep, how are you gonna feel? Well, you're gonna feel tired. It's not rocket science, is it? Normalizing testosterone levels just normalizes testosterone levels to allow you to put work in to feel good. So yeah, some guys actually feel better just with testosterone monotherapy. Now we are big advocates of daily injections for the reason that 
day, night, day, night, day, night, 24 hour dermal cycle. It makes perfect sense. And if you inject in the morning, what are you going to get? You're going to get a slight peak of testosterone, which then raises dopamine. And then you get active, you lower testosterone and dopamine lower. So you try and chase that dopamine back. So you're active again to get the food. Again, fascinating, absolutely fascinating. So that is as close as damn it, damn it, as close as damn it mimicking physiology. But again, it's not that simple. So does it work for everybody? As we just said, no, because again, it isn't that simple. So what else? I mean, if if you've got a normal to high normal SHBG, you don't have to do daily injections. But I do daily injections because, again, I want the best and I'm not willing to accept anything else. But if it didn't fit in with my lifestyle or if I really, really, really didn't want to do it, I could do every other day injections. I could probably do twice weekly injections because I've got a high normal SHBG. So that buffer effect in me is good. So I'm not going to feel too much. And again, it's all about the feels, isn't it? As men, we are testosterone dopamine driven, but we have this estradiol and serotonin which makes us all emotional so some guys can't handle the emotions one of my sf guys he didn't like it <laughs> he he's he's like doc i need i need to go off so so he's just on testosterone monotherapy but he's going to reintroduce it because he wants kids in the future so again does testosterone monotherapy cause infertility well no it's not quite that simple isn't it what do hormones do they're chemical messengers that help facilitate the function of their target organs does that mean without the hormone the organ is actually defunct no you can still potentially get pregnant or make her pregnant, obviously, with testosterone monotherapy. It's just going to be suboptimal. And what are we doing? We're trying to get you as optimal as possible to cope with the chaos of the modern world. Take personal responsibility and accountability for what you can control, because what you can't control, you can't control. So why are you letting that cause you unnecessary angst? Again, the internet is wonderful. It's opened up a whole world of information. But there's a lot of misinformation as well. And here at the Men's Health Clinic, we, this is all we do. So listen, trust the process and do what? Go earn your reward.